Code Afric. Unlock the future. Good day, guys. Welcome to Code Afric. Joseph is here. It's another brand new day. In this episode, we are looking at how to fix a two-phase authentication error in Git and GitHub. Okay, sometimes it becomes problematic on how you are trying to push your project on a GitHub and you'll be getting this kind of error. Okay, authentication failed for HTTP. You might using the right logins, your right username and your password, but you will still be facing the same challenges and you tried everything possible, but um, it might not work on your behalf. Okay, so I thought it wise to come out with a solution in order to assist anyone who is facing this kind of challenge uh, so that we can deal with it once and for all. All right. So you know, Code Afric, as the saying goes, we always dealt with a simplicity. All right. So without much ado, let's dive in. All right. So if you are taking this tutorial, I'm taking a guess that you know the basis of Git. Okay. Like the Git commands, like Git init, Git add get commit and push and go okay so i'm not going to take much time on that i'm going straight to the point and when you get to the point of fixing the authentication i will explain it better now i am cd into my project all right so we have initialize we have add we have commit and now it is uh, left us to push our project okay so i will come to my github and create a new repository okay let me call it bootstrap project and here i will say okay so here i will say um, bootstrap project demo okay i will leave everything by default i'll make it on public let me create my repository okay so from here that is where we are going to push our project okay all right i would like to copy this one and what this one does is that um, if you want to continue with the main branch instead of a master branch, then you have to use this one, okay? If you're going with the main branch, then use this command, okay? If you don't want to go with the main branch, then you have to ignore it and use master branch instead of the main, okay? Now, I'll copy this address and I'll hit on enter. Now, we are going to push, okay? Git push minus u origin main, all right? So, in a case that you do not go with this command, then here you have to change the main to master, okay? So um, we are using the main branch. So let's click on it. Okay, so now it is requesting for our username. You can see username here. Okay, please take note. This is where the error is coming from. So we will give our username. Now this is the username. Okay, if you scroll up, here is the username. We can copy it. Okay, copy the username and type in your password and hit enter. Let's see, I put in the right username and password, but let's see what we are having here. We are having an, an authentication fail, like I explained before. So this is what you'll be having, okay? You are putting in the right username and the password, but you are still getting an authentication error. So how do we fix this problem? And this is exactly what I'm going to teach you, okay? I'm going to teach you on how to fix this one um, in a simple way that um, anyone can adapt, all right? Now, this is your profile icon here, okay? You can see that there is a small arrow here. Click on, it, click on that arrow, pointing down, and come to settings. You come to settings, then from here, scroll down and come to developer settings. Okay, so from here, you come to personal access token. Okay, personal access tokens. Click on that. And what we are we, what we are going to do is that we are going to generate a new token. Okay, so click on this, generate a new token. All right, so this is not always the case. Okay, so but in a case, it asks you for your password. Put in your user password. Okay, okay, put in the password. And confirm okay now it will open like this and after it opens what we have to do from here is that we are going to generate a new token okay and please follow the proceeding okay don't do any other thing different okay don't do any difference and follow the proceeding you come here and click on the repo okay click on this one leave the rest by default leave the rest by default come here and come to generate token okay we are going to generate a token so click on that okay sorry we have to put in some message here okay so here you can put in anything, but it's better you put in token for a terminal gate. Okay, put in the same thing. Okay, here. Then let's come, let's come and create, generate our token. Please make sure you click on this one. Check on this box, the repo. Okay. Then let's let's go ahead and do that. All right. So in my case, I've already used this. Okay. So let me add two to it. Okay. Only two. Okay. In your case, you can use it like that because you have not used it before. All right. So let me generate, and there we go. 
please from here what you have to do from here is that you have to copy this okay copy this this is your password this is the token that is that generated for you this is your password okay this is what we are going to use this code so copy it click on this one to copy now find a secure place and paste it before when we refresh it we are not going to see it again so copy it somewhere okay now i'll come to my whatsapp and paste it here okay i've pasted it here okay for future use okay now what i'll do from here is that i'll come to my terminal okay and from now i'm going to push it again okay so get push minus u origin main okay upon hitting on enter okay so when i hit enter it's asking of the username okay the username so let's go ahead and paste in our username now i've copied my username okay you can see username here please take note i'll copy my username and paste now it's asking for the password now i'll come and copy this token okay the code the token here copy then i'll paste it here i've pasted it let's hit on enter and see the magic and you can see our project has been pushed successfully okay we've been able to push our project now let's head back to our github okay so we can see that this is the project this is what we created is here okay the repository that we created let's click on it and we can see uh, we are having all the files in here okay so when when i come to the folder here and open inside we can see i have what one two three and four and when we come here is the same thing that we are having here okay this one come by default this is here the access folder and everything is here okay we've been able to push our project successfully into our github repository okay so upon using this uh, method you can able to push all your project successfully okay so it is done once and for all okay so once you configure this implementation you are good to go it's not going to ask you again because it has been secured all right guys so this is where we wrote the curtain for this episode let's come back on the next tutorial and learn more